I was extremely upset. Um, I guess I was angry because we have no choice. Carl will not guarantee it'll continue to treat retired state workers after this year. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Leadership says without a contract with Aetna Medicare, they won't commit to seeing thousands of retirees. Target 3 first broke the news with, that the state contracted with Aetna two months ago. Since then, we've been asking if those seniors who enroll in the only plan the state is offering them next year will lose access to more than 550 doctors. Our investigative reporter Renee Cooper is here with the update. Renee, this goes against what the state and Aetna seem to assume. Well, Jennifer, in its application to the state, Aetna claimed even though Carl was out of its network, Carl was willing to accept the plan. Carl expressed a history of challenges in working with Aetna and without a contract, insurers dictate how much they reimburse doctors. It's part of a larger pattern. Insurance insurers are selling plans in places where they don't have sufficient provider networks. And in this case, Carl made a choice to treat retirees if they come to a contractor's agreement with Aetna, leaving seniors without a basic assurance, health care. I was very upset and disturbed about it because I have cancer and I'm still on chemo. Francis Hacker, like this whole room, retired from the University of Illinois. They're all on the state-sponsored United Healthcare plan, set to expire at the end of the year, and they all rely on Carl doctors. For Hacker, finding a new oncologist isn't exactly something you'd expect to do in the middle of treatment. There's a University of Chicago doctor that has been working with Carl and I have been seeing him. About every three months, she says. And without Carl in the middle, Hacker says she'd need help making the four-hour round trip. I have no idea what I'll be doing or what my care will be following the turnover in January. I'm 80 years old, and it's a problem. I've been with Carl for more than 50 years. I've got doctors I've been seeing for 15, 20 years. Now we have no choice. I first met Sandy Goss Lucas in August at the park where she exercises with other retirees. They were concerned then they'd lose access to Carl. Aetna put in their bid that they had Carl doctors on board, which is a blatant lie. Aetna has deferred to Carl, claiming they're treating the same group of people at the same rate Aetna would pay them come January. Since we broke the news, the Illinois Department of Central Management Services, or CMS, finalized its contract with Aetna earlier this month. CMS has been telling retirees it's unlikely they'll have to switch doctors under the new plan. I think that's another lie. Now the writing is on the wall. It's instead a likelihood without a contract between Aetna and Carl. They knew from the beginning that for us in this county, Carl is the biggest provider, healthcare provider. It's a domino effect that would also hit Christie Clinic patients when they need hospital care. Although the clinic accepts Aetna Medicare, its doctors can only coordinate hospital care in Champaign-Urbana at Carl. In the wake of the news, OSF said on Facebook it continues to accept Aetna Medicare at all of its facilities. If this all goes as it looks like it's going to, There'll be a lot of us out there just looking for uh, general practitioners, uh, specialists. If you have a lot of people who all of a sudden need doctors, it'll be very hard to get in. Although consistency of care is more dire for some than others, they all want to keep their doctors of decades. He knows all about me. And they all want the state to know. I don't like the fact that they never even ask us how we evaluated United Healthcare whether we were satisfied or not. And for Aetna and for Carl, they need to get together and work it out. Now in July, Carl said negotiations with Aetna had stalled. But today, a representative wouldn't say whether they've started back up, but did say Carl is open to the conversation, something Aetna has also repeated. Now I'm getting working on getting much more of this story online, including if and when CMS and Aetna will have to explain this plan to lawmakers, plus, how to opt out of the plan and why that's a decision that requires careful consideration. Jennifer, back to you. Renee, thank you.